Thank you, you very much. Tomorrow, Congressman Steve Scalise will testify before a House committee about a bill he is co-authoring on reforming the national flood insurance program. If passed, House Bill 1264 would create an optional program where property owners could purchase wind and hail coverage in addition to their flood coverage. And Congressman Scalise joins us this morning to talk about this bill. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, very good. And this has been kind of a mess uh, with, with flood insurance. Uh, th th there was a time when there was a gap in when people could actually buy flood insurance. If you had flood insurance, it was still good. But uh, uh, there have been a couple of problems with this. And, and now uh, and we learned the hard way during Katrina that $100,000 for flood insurance isn't quite enough. Uh, for uh, 250, what is it? Uh, 250. 250 for for your house, and then and then uh, 100,000 for the contents. A lot of times isn't enough. Are you trying to raise that as well? What we're trying to do is make a few reforms to the flood insurance program, and also try to to stop this process where every few weeks it seems like the program expires. In fact, at the end of May, the flood insurance program will expire again if Congress takes no action. So I'll for how working, long? Uh, well, Congress would have to continue to extend it, but they've only been extending it for about 30 days at a time. It should be renewed on a five-year basis. That's historically how it's been operated. Unfortunately, it hadn't worked that way in a while. I've been working with Congressman Gene Taylor from Mississippi, and we have a bill that's going to allow for multiple peril coverage, not just flood insurance, but also to bring wind and hail into that. Because after Katrina, we saw a lot of people that had both wind and flood insurance. The, the storm might have blown off the roof, and they also had flood water, and the insurance company said they're not going to pay, and you had to go fight in court. Because it was the, to their advantage to have it be flood rather than wind. Absolutely, and so people would have flood insurance and they would have homeowners insurance, and neither was paying. They were saying the other should be responsible about combining all perils into one policy. You don't have to go to court to say and try to prove whether it was the flood or whether it was wind that caused the damage. You get covered either way. And you, you, you say you have bipartisan support for this bill. Yeah, Gene Taylor, the lead sponsor, is a Democrat from southern Mississippi. Of course, he experienced firsthand the damages of Hurricane Katrina, and this is something he's been trying for a long time. When I came to Congress, I uh, talked to Gene because I liked the idea of his bill and, uh, and asked to, uh, to help him support it. And so he and I are both are going to testify before the committee tomorrow to try to get this passed. And you're going to create a, a risk pool for all the coastal communities. That's right. This would be something that would apply nationwide. It would be an option. So if you wanted to keep your current coverage, uh, that would be fine. But we saw after Katrina, companies wouldn't even write wind and hail coverage. And so if you want to buy a house, you need not only flood, but you also need wind and hail coverage. And so this would say, let's spread the risk out. Don't, don't put everybody in one boat so that if one state's hit, that state, in essence, is, is going to have serious problems. Let, let it be spread out across the entire country and get that option. So if you have flood and, and uh, wind, and, wind and fire, wind and hail insurance, how would this change your policy or would it at all? If you have flood insurance, you would then have the option uh, to also purchase your wind and hail coverage through the on National Flood Insurance your, your Program on top of your flood insurance, and it would be in, priced in an actuarially sound way. And on top of your wind and wind and uh, hail insurance already on your policy. Well, you wouldn't need to purchase wind and hail through your okay. homeowners. Your okay. homeowners so, would just so, be so for liability be and fire. Yeah. So you'd be buying both through the federal government then? You would be buying your wind and hail as well as your flood insurance through the National Flood Insurance Program, and then you would still have the private insurance market for all of your other uh, damages. And they would broker it, too. And what, what do you think are the chances that this will pass? I think we've got a very good chance. Uh, not only the fact that across the country this, this flood insurance program continues to expire, creating a lot of problems, we're going to be trying to renew it for a five-year basis uh, so that you don't have to, every couple of weeks, have to worry if you've got a closing on a house. Can you even close because you can't get flood insurance? We're supported, this bill's supported by the National Realtors Association, the Home Builders Association, and we've got a broad base of support. So quickly, if, if, if this does pass, then then... then if there's another Katrina-like uh, event or, or some kind of a hurricane, it, it, will, it will eliminate, if you have the option, all the, the, the fighting over wind, flood, what it caused what? Absolutely. So many people had to go to court just to force their insurance company to pay because there was this argument, was the damage caused by wind or by flood? Well, if you have coverage for both, it shouldn't matter. You just want to get your house repaired. And so this says it's all under one policy, so no longer do you have that argument. All right. Thank all you very much. Thank you very much, Congressman Thank you. for being here. In other news now. New Orleans police say they now have a suspect in the